What's going on you guys? Keep on the camera here. And today I'm gonna make it's not really spaghetti. It's like a spaghetti and a creamy tomato sauce. You'll see. Never made it before. These are the meatballs. Now the meatballs is my basic meatball recipe that I made for Bridget on her birthday. So follow that recipe for the meatballs. Meanwhile, put a stick of butter in this pan. I wish I had my spaddle so I can turn the butter. God, thanks, Bridget. Okay. Here we go. I knew that thing would come in handy. This is four carrots. So cute. And one onion. Look at those little carrots. Yep, I made them just so you would say they were cute. Oh. So I'm just gonna cook these, saute these until the onions are translucent. To this, I'm gonna add two 20 ounce, two 28 ounce cans of tomatoes. One is crushed, one is whole. With the juice, first, two teaspoons of sugar. Now, a lot of people say, oh, for God, sugar. <laughs> yeah, I added it. So, sugar, pepper, salt. For some reason, it was not recording a minute ago, and I added two cloves of garlic to the mixture to cook down with this. So, it's in there. Two cloves of garlic chopped. Now I'm cooking down a little bit of hamburger meat to be added, and I will add some mushrooms to that to become trans translucent. You can't make the mushrooms trans I'm just going to saute some mushrooms into the hamburger meat. This is still cooking down. Got about 15 minutes to go on that. Meatballs cooking. Next step is coming up. Hey. Okay, so it's time for our next step, which is first I'm gonna pour it in here. Yes, this is indeed a lot of work for sauce. However, it's worth it. Now that and pour a little bit at a time into here. All right, we got about half into it. Can I do it? You can hold this. Oh. You can do the second half. All right. So first, get this piece of shit on. All right. I'm just gonna puree it up. All right, first batch should be done. Take that out real quick. Put that in there. Mm. Pour it in there. What do you think, Bridget? That is awesome. All right. Ready so, for this? Yep. Shape. Now we have that. We are adding one and a half cup of heavy whipping cream. Now, for all you people saying, oh my god, that's two cups. This is a one cup measuring cup, okay? People say it every time. So you add one. Mm, can I stir it? After I add the meat. Now then. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add these meatballs. Oh. 
I kept one meatball out to eat. Damn. And now I'll just sit here and let it simmer while we get our noodles prepared. Yes, noodles. I'll First, the noodles. you want to try the meatball? You want to try the meatball? Yeah. All right, here is our meatball on the inside. Hot. Hot. Dump that shit. Normally, I'm not a fan of the mixed pasta, but for this one, you kind of got to do it. Oh, I know. Where is my good spoon? I don't know. Right here. <laughs> All right. Bridget, move that top real quick. Okay. Here we go. Mixing it together. Oh, yeah. Together forever. Not together mixing it. Together forever. How about you look in here now? Uh huh. Homemade. Bridget's garlic bread. <laughs> I was going to give you credit for it, but you said just joking. The next step is plating. So, yeah. Bridget, you want to hold this? Sure. Okay. So then, first we're going to go ahead and get us some pasta going. Got a couple of meatballs in there. Some sauce. Now then, right on top of this, first, we're going to sprinkle some fresh Parmesan. Followed by some fresh mozzarella. Yeah. And there you have it. It's a pasta. Let's go ahead and try it, Bridget. It's delicious. Go for it. I'm never going to Carvel again. This is better. Like I said, I wanted to do a spin on your rigatoni martino with spaghetti. This is rigatoni spaghetti martino. Oh, this is your plate. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was yours. Oh. Oh, and her garlic bread. Get a serve!